Shoot the test target to determine the true sensitivity and dynamic range of your digital camera sensor that you're going to use. Now we're going to enter the test exposure information into the Sekonic data transfer software. After loading the Sekonic data transfer software, click on the desktop icon to launch the software. The main screen will appear. From here, you may create profiles, view profiles, or edit profiles. Create a profile by clicking on the Create Profile button. You will then be given the option to select either Quick Mode or Advanced Mode. For this demonstration, we will select Quick Mode. A step-by-step -step guide for creating a profile will appear in the upper left-hand corner. From this screen, you have the option to select one of two exposure profile targets. For this demonstration, we will select Exposure Profile Target 2 and click Next. Now we will enter the exposure data. First, set the correct ISO speed. Our test was shot at ISO 100. Second, set the shutter speed for the incident and reflected measurements. We shot our test at 1 250th of a second. Third, select the aperture for both incident and reflective measurements. Our aperture was measured at F8 for incident mode and F8 and 3 tenths for reflected mode. After entering the ISO, shutter speed, and aperture, click the Next button. On the Select Test Image screen, a Browse for Folder menu will pop up. Locate the folder that contains the test image files. I stored mine on the desktop in a folder called Test Images. After clicking on the folder, select the camera that you are profiling. We're profiling the EOS 5D. When the folder opens, three test exposures will appear in the thumbnail viewer. Select each of these thumbnails by clicking the mouse in the appropriate selection box. When finished, click the Next button. The three test exposures are now ready for evaluation. Select the first image for evaluation by double-clicking the target. Align the green position marks to set the evaluation range. Complete this process for all three test target images. When you're finished, click the Next button. The Sekonic Data Transfer software automatically generates a graph that shows a sensitivity curve of the created exposure profile, composing of the clipping points, dynamic range, and the compensation value of the camera tested. Click on the Save button, create a profile name, and click OK when you're done. The software brings us back to the main screen. The camera profile just created is located under the Camera Exposure Profile list. Select the EOS 5D profile and insert into Profile 1, Camera 1. Finally, you can transfer the exposure profile from the computer to the L758DR with the included USB cable. After connecting the L758DR to the USB on your computer, turn the meter on. The computer will automatically detect that the L758DR is connected. Then click the Transfer to Light Meter button and the L758DR is automatically programmed with your camera's unique exposure profile. Since reflected and incident measuring modes can measure light differently, you can program them independently. Since digital cameras can respond differently to flash or ambient exposures, you can program them independently also. Knowing the dynamic range of your digital camera is critical for optimal reproduction quality. Programming the dynamic range of your digital camera into the L758DR is quick and easy. 
Knowing when you're going to lose your highlights or shadows is very important for optimum reproduction quality control. The L758 DR can be programmed to warn you if you exceed the limit points of the intended output device before it's too late. Now that you've programmed the L758 DR with your camera's ISO, measuring mode, light source, dynamic range, and clipping points, let me show you the real benefits. Both the dynamic range and the clipping points of a programmed digital camera are displayed on the analog scale in three selectable ways. When an exposure meets or exceeds a set dynamic range or clipping point, a blinking limit warning icon alerts you to take action. If a highlight or shadow falls short of the programmed exposure latitude and you can't modify the lighting, then use the mid-tone mode. The mid-tone button allows you to shift an exposure to favor the highlight or shadow area of a scene. There are four data scales displayed on the L758DR's LCD. The F-stop scale, EV scale, dynamic range and clipping point scale, and the measured value display scale. Each of these scales provides valuable information about the exposure at a glance. Other cool features include full, half, and third stop settings, dual ISOs, auto-illuminated backlight, exposure correction, meter calibration and filter compensation adjustment, all-weather design, multiple flash measurements, memory modes, cine modes, and so much more. With the new challenges that digital exposure control presents, the need for a new breed of light meter is critical for optimum image quality. Siconic offers the L758DR Digital Master to meet these challenges. Thank you for taking a tour of the new L758DR. Be sure to visit us on the web for more information.